Security measures at Newark Liberty Airport are under review today, and at least five security lapses have been reported over the last 30 days. That was more than enough to warrant an up-close look at the system. Eyewitness News reporter Jamie Roth is live at Newark Airport with more for us, Jamie. Good afternoon, Laurie, and Senator Bob Menendez just took that up-close look. He wanted to see security improvements firsthand, and so he went on a behind-the-scenes tour of Newark Liberty to see what changes are being affected here. We talked to him after his tour. He says he saw exits better staffed and more security barriers in place. He saw cameras that sound an alarm if someone is walking against the flow of traffic, which in and of itself is a red flag to the TSA. He also witnessed cameras that record video and sound alarms if they're recorded cord function is not working, all the better to track suspects. And he also told us there is now better information sharing in place between the TSA, the Port Authority, and local law enforcement. Up next, the senator vows to push to add workers. We have to be fully staffed, and uh, that's an immediate challenge. There is a constant uh, effort, I think, that we have to continue to have on training because we can have all the technology in the world, the technology detects, but the training stops. Something he'll be working towards down the line. In terms of a staffing shortage at Newark Liberty, the senator says they are short by about 80 people, mostly screeners. We're live at Newark Liberty Airport. Jamie Roth, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Jamie.